For the little bit of the rub, nigga, I gotta be safe. Let's get to the sports talk. LeBron left Cleveland in 2010 because the Celtics eliminated the Cavs from the playoffs. KG added, we didn't give an expletive about LeBron and they had no fear of him. Now, Stephen A., based on these comments and everything that Kevin Garnett said, should opponents have some level of respect for LeBron? Well, I... I, and, I, and I'm not saying this about you, Rachel, because I understand we're introducing the topic the way that we are. But I think that that question, if asked in general with sincerity, is utterly ridiculous. Uh, the man's a three-time champion. He's been to the finals nine times. Uh, he is unquestionably one of the greatest players in the history of basketball. If LeBron James doesn't require respect, I don't know who the hell does, to be quite honest with you. Uh, that's number one. But number two, I'm going to say this. Um, I don't have a problem with anything that Kevin Garnett said in terms of what he means. He is alluding to basketball. He is alluding to two years earlier, the Boston Celtics winning the chip, beating the Lakers in six games. And then with that starting five of him, with Kendrick Perkins, with Ray Allen, Paul Pierce, and Rondo, when healthy, their mentality was, we're unbeatable. Anybody that's taken us out, it's because we were compromised. Our starting five was compromised injury-wise. But what I do think it's important to mention, and I'm not getting into any details, and I never will. All I'm going to say is what I've told, what I've said repeatedly, Max, and that is this. There were personal issues going on with LeBron James. Mm -hmm. and, and it wasn't you that ran him out. It was how that team was built around him. He already had his mind made up for real where he was going after the playoffs was over with. It's the team they put around him. He had personal issues with that organization at that time. It's the players that he they brought around him that wasn't built to win a championship with him. It was just personal issues. That's why he left. That team it wasn't because of the Boston team that uh, made him leave. He left because he had personal issues with that organization. His teammates. He was disrespected and he was flat out betrayed. And I don't give a damn what anybody says. He probably will never speak about it. Some people going to call me a lie, whatever. I don't give a damn. I'm telling you what I know. He was betrayed by his by some of his teammates in that Cleveland organization. And that played a role into why he left Cleveland to go to Miami. And that, that person that was accused of Then when you have someone betrays you on a team, you're not gonna sit there and stay there with that person on that team. There's already accusations someone was messing around with his mom at that time and he had issues going through his head already. He already had an organization that he can't trust. It was just so much things surrounding him at that time. And that would make his decision to go to Miami. Quitting once he decided to go to Miami by Dan Gilbert, who not only accused LeBron of quitting, but he picked the games in which LeBron James quit. Said two, four, game two, four, and six. He accused him of quitting all three games. That was disingenuous on his part. There were a lot of things going on with LeBron James that's none of anybody's damn business. And I will come to his defense to the grave on that one. What happened to him that last year in Cleveland was nothing short of betrayal. It had nothing to do with basketball, but it also compromised his greatness on the basketball court because he was distracted, which is why when he went to Miami the next year, every single press conference, Dwayne Wade was sitting by his side because he finally had a brother that he had never had in all his years in Cleveland. Yeah. That is the truth. I That's what it's all about. Have someone on that team that could trust you. And Cleveland, he felt like he had no one in his corner. 
that he can trust. So when you see Dwayne Wade at every press conference he did when he was with Miami, because he know he has someone on his side that he can trust and turn to. I think that's a very good point. I, I, the answer is you can't have too much respect for anyone who you play. You have to think that you're better than them in order to win. But I want to get into what you're saying, Stephen, because I find that more interesting. Uh, it's widely known what you're talking about, but we can't really talk about it. Um, I, it's inappropriate on television, I think. Um, that was absurd, what he had to deal with that year. That's absurd. And, no, and it's just like it's ridiculous. If you had to invent something to bother someone that you don't do it to a teammate, that's what happened to him. But anyway... Um, let's get past that for a second and just deal with what KG said. KG, Paul, I love Kevin Garnett. I love Garnett. I mean, Bill Russell loved it when he got Kevin Garnett, right? And they won a championship. But guys, it was a one single championship. And Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, and Ray Allen were three Hall of Famers who were still great playing on the same team at the same time with a great coach. They had Dow Rivers as they coach. They had Rondo as their point guard. Uh, they had Paul Pierce. They had Kevin Garnett, Kendra Perkins, shooting guard, I think it was T yeah, Tony Allen. Uh, they had a good team. And, and you know, they won a championship. It was good calling for Paul Pierce. He needed that championship. But after a while, some of the players start butting heads. Rondo ain't get along with some of his teammates. I think it was Ray Allen. And that's why you hardly see Ray Allen when they had reunions together. That's why you hardly see them together. And a great supporting cast. And it took everything they had to knock a one-man band out of town. I mean, like, really what happened is LeBron was by himself. If they, like, really what happened is he didn't have another great teammate. Not even one. Give him an all-star to work with. When he, once he went to Miami, he, he choked. He choked the first one away. He was figuring it out. And, and then he won two in a row and went to, he altogether went to four straight finals and went back to Cleveland and won another one. I mean, he just didn't have, no one, no one, no one can do it by themselves. So he rigged the system. He did. Not as bad as, as, no one, I always say that, no superstar can win it by themselves. You're going to need another person with you to be able to win a championship. That's why the Celtic team came together and won one together. Because you put three more stars together like Pierce, Gordon, and Allen. you always going to need a supporting cast. When you only have you and the rest of the guys around you that's not all that good, you're not going to be able to win the championship. When he with the Miami, he had Bosch and Wade, you always going to need somebody else that's going to ride with you. Another stars around you at least. Another good player at least to help you win one. No superstar can win one. Players in the 90s had players by their side to help them win a championship because the superstar can't win it all by their sales. And no one can sit and tell me that. As KD did later on, that was even worse. But he did. He made sure, oh, oh, really? So Garnett talking about they broke him. No, they didn't break him. They did this, they did that. It was experience he didn't understand. My man, you give LeBron James two all-star teammates on that Cleveland team let alone two future Hall of Famers, the Celtics would have exactly zero. Zero. He was so much better than it. Than, like, it took three of them. It took three of them to take him out. So, like, And I love KG. He's an all-time great, but that tells you the level, even then, that LeBron was operating on, Stephen A. Um, it does point out KG's attitude that that is significant. You can't be so respectful of a guy that you don't think you're better than him. And KG is here, even though I, I disagree with what he's saying, he's showing the right kind of mental approach to playing a guy like LeBron. Well, well, he is showing the right kind of mental approach, but let's, let, let's also understand and respect the fact that he's coming, and I mean this affectionately, he's coming across as a bully on the block because no one thought Cleveland was better than Boston. Shaquille O'Neal was beyond his pride.
prime. Uh, Anthony Miller was on the squad. Mo Williams, Antoine Jameson. They did not have the crew that the Boston Celtics had. The Boston Celtics said it was two years removed from winning a championship. When their starting five was healthy, they were unbeatable. Everybody pretty much knew that. And so they clearly had the better team. It wasn't like, oh my goodness, LeBron had a crew. No, right. LeBron was a one-man wrecking crew at that particular moment in time. And no one-man wrecking crew was going to beat. No one was going to beat that Boston team. Just like KG. You was a superstar on your team with the T-Wolves. And you came to Boston. Ray Allen was a superstar for the Sonics. But he came to Boston. Pierce is already there. Two more players came with him. It turned out to be a championship. That's what superstars need. There's another players to go along with it to help him win a championship. LeBron had J.J. Hesson, Antoine Jameson, Dave Mo Williams, Virgil, uh, Shaq, uh, yeah, and in the middle. The players wasn't enough to help him win a championship or beat no Boston team. That was stacked. AG with Paul Pierce and Ray Allen and exactly. them. That was not going to Give him Shaq but even from three years different. before that, Stephen A. Like, if you it's just made Shaq two or three years younger, completely different scenario. Yeah. That's not fair. To, but, 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 so I agree. Like, right. But KG, like, the, if the question is, do you, do you have to respect LeBron? If what KG's point of view is is disrespectful, then you got to be disrespectful. You right. got to think that you're the bully. And KG felt like that when he was out on the court. Easy to do, easier to do when you have Hall of Famers backing you up. And LeBron didn't have that. But still, I think there's a lesson there. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, 